Do you want to sell Notion templates but you don't want to create them from scratch? The easiest way to get started is with PLA Notion templates. PLA stands for private label rights, which means that you can resell these templates, but you have to customize them. You can't sell them just as they are. You have to add your own touch to it. You have to change the covers, change the fonts, you know, add your own touch to it. That's what I'm gonna show you in this video. I'm going to customize with you a PLR template that I offer for my students. Inside the Passive Income Academy, I have a course where I teach people how to sell their Notion templates and I also offer them these PLR templates just to help them to get started if they are not very confident to create from scratch. But I'm gonna show you one of the templates that I have. This is the easiest one to customize, is a weekly planner. And if you are a beginner to Notion, that's gonna be very, don't get overwhelmed. Um, just play around, have fun with it, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm just gonna grab the PLR template here in the Passive Income Academy. I have this gallery. These are all PLR templates. The one that we're going to use is this weekly planner because that's the easiest one. That's a very beginner level. And if you guys are interested, let me know that I can create a uh, customize the other ones, the more complex ones. Um, on the next other video just let me know which one you'd like to so see what i'm thinking is i want to create a weekly planner for a business owner and this business owner she also believes in manifestation affirmations and all those things so i always uh, create my templates with my customer in mind who I am creating this template for, I always try to think about that because once this customer sees this template, it's going to feel like, oh, this is for me, this is perfect for me. So yeah, this is going to be a weekly business, life and business weekly planner. So we're going to remove the covers and everything. Um, and I'm gonna go for more brownish color. So what I like to do, I like to edit the layout first if I want to change anything, the layout. I don't want to use this, um, this thing here. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to add a database instead in line. And this is going to be a calendar and I'll add a weekly view. I can hear if you want to. So here's where uh, she's going to add the tasks. So I like to create a template. Um, this is going to be a new task. And I want everything like this brownish color. So every time that she adds a task, um, it's going to be here. And I want to add as well a select property for the priority. And I want to add the checkbox as well. And I think that's it. I want to keep it very simple, but of course you can add more things if you want to. Um, and oh, I can also add a select property for category. And that's it. So I like to add, uh, make sure this is a default for all views of this database. Um, and I don't wanna see this name, so I just add this space. So I keep it very clean. And every time that the person that uses this add a task, uh, this template is gonna come through. And she can also add like check emails and she can add uh, the tasks that she's got to do and add the category. So it's gonna be here can also add a checkbox in priority. And these are the habit tracker, just make sure everything's working. 
the progress bar is working fine and then I'm going to create the cover for this uh, template I already have like um, an idea of what I want so right so uh, what I like to do I just put my hair up because it's too hot here and I have to keep the windows closed because otherwise it's too much noise um, but what I like to do when I'm creating a template in Canva creating the covers I try to get all these assets that are related to the vibe that I want to go for so because this is going to be like a manifestation vibe affirmations all like more spiritual I found these um, elements on Canva I have Canva Pro but you, that you can find loads of those uh, in the free um, free pro, uh, account as well if you only have the free account so I have some elements and I also get the fonts that I liked and I, I paired these two fonts, um, this one and this one. So let me just see how, um, so let's say this is the cover I want to go for. I'm going to um, save this download as png so we're gonna go and add the cover i want to create like a whole vibe in following this cover uh, so let's change all the icons to brown If you select um, so here I chose the brown for the for the um, this I think this is a h2 you can see that's a heading one so it's a h1 let's keep make this a h1 as well so just go to turn into head one if the block is selected like this uh, you can press command shift h and it basically repeats the um, customization that you add previously. So that's just a little shortcut to save you some time when you customize. Can also change all these images, um, but what I want to do, I will delete all of them and I will add a vision board that I have here. So you can create a vision board using you can create a vision board um, using the gallery view. Um, I created, I already have one here. So that's a good thing about Notion templates because you can use what you already have. But of course, if you are using, um, if you are um, duplicate, so you can use the databases that you already have. And I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna paste a link view of this vision board but I want this a uh, little bit different I want the images small I'm assuming here that the person using this uh, template is going to need this weekly view all the time so I'm just gonna drag it to the top uh, we can also add this like make a put it on the side if we want to uh, you can play around with that and see what looks best and think about the experience as well that the customer is going to have with this. And that's how we customize this PLR template literally in five minutes. <laughs> right, the last thing that I want to add, um, sometimes I like to add these uh, arcs, these rounded frames, but today I want to add just an icon like this. So I'm going to copy, Command C, and command V you can save this as PNG so I need to add an image and I don't want this clock here anymore So something is off. I'm gonna create a column 
two columns. In one of the columns, I'm going to add, where is it? Oh, here. I'm going to add the vision board. And in one column, I'm going to add this image because I don't want this to be too big like that. So that's it. That's how I want it to look like. And I'm happy with it, but you can play around and make it look the way you want to make it look. Uh, always add like, uh, you can create a tutorial just explaining how to use. And that's it. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, please leave a like below and subscribe to the channel. If you want to join the Passive Income Academy, I have uh, the link below for the waitlist. Uh, this course is not open all the time. I only open it a few times a year. Uh, so if you want to join, make sure you are on the waitlist so you get my offers, you get the bonuses and you'll be the first to know when I open uh, for enrollment. In the academy you get access to PLR Notion templates. Now I'm helping all the Notion creators just like you to grow the Notion shops and just add a extra fun source of income on your life. And if you enjoyed this video, please share with someone that you know is going to like it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.